What's up guys? Sam Phillips here. Um, got a whole bunch of foreign coins to show you today. And uh, I got these from a new guy that I trained at work. He said I was putting together a penny book for my mom. And he mentioned that he had a set of coins in a little booklet that was just sitting in storage and not getting uh, used by him. So he figured he'd give them to me. Now here's the little booklet they were in. It says Collectible Token Album. America's National Parks, Monuments, and Memorials. And um, as you can see, some of these coins are quite large. So uh, it messed up the book a little bit. But I'd like to find those uh, tokens and um, put together a collection of my own for those. But let's get on to the actual coins. The first two are from Hong Kong. That one ended up upside down. Oops. But uh, this one's a $5 piece from Hong Kong. And it's from 1993. The cool thing about this one is the edge actually says Hong Kong five dollars and it says some uh, characters that I can't read but anyways um, there's that one then here's the two dollar one which uh, is kind of a scallop shape I don't really know what to call that shape but they both have this flowery design on the other side I really like those coins, they're kind of cool. Next up, we have some uh, coins from Switzerland. And I am not going to try and pronounce the names on these because uh, I'm just not good at pronunciation. But this is a five franc piece from 1996. We also have a five franc piece from 1983. Um, same design, pretty cool. And then. We have a, uh, what is this, two francs? Yeah, two francs from 1989. I like this uh, particular design. It reminds me of uh, the Standing Liberty or Walking Liberties from the U.S. And um, then we have a one franc from 1993. And there we go, dropping coins, my usual ammo. Okay, next up we have some Italian coins. Um, before the euro, um, this is a hundred lira coin, which is pretty cool. 1978. The other one is the same design, but from 1973. Some pretty cool Italian coins. And we got a thousand lira from 1998. And uh, yeah. Kind of a cool design. This one's a 500 lira. And it says, I think it says the National Institute of Statistics. I think that's what that is. I'm not very good at Italian. But uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. The next coins are from France. And they are franc coins. I kind of like this little sprite design here. Um, that's a 10 franc from 1990. And we have a 1 franc from 1999. And I really like this design as well. Um, if I recall correctly, um, the Statue of Liberty was a French design. There's a 5 franc from 1987. Really pretty coins. All right, moving on to Australia and New Zealand. We have an Australian dollar coin from 1984 with the kangaroos on it. I've always liked the kangaroo design. Then we have from 1995, a 20 cent 50th anniversary of the United Nations commemorative coin. <coughs> Pardon me. A 50 cent um, kangaroo and emu, I believe that is. Ow! <laughs> from 1979. And then from uh, 1967, we have a New Zealand coin, also 50 cents, with the uh, Endeavour on it. I like coins with ships on them. So there's that. Alright, moving over to this stack, we have some British coins. Got a 50 pence piece from 1997. 
and we got a pound coin. I'm really sorry I keep dropping these from, what year was that? 1997 as well. And it says something in Latin along the edge, but I can't read Latin. I'm not even going to try. Then we have a five bot coin from Thailand. Um, I've always liked the Thailand coin designs. Pretty sweet. We have a one yuan from China. Uh, I'm not going to try and read that, obviously. <laughs> 2001. One or ye yuan. This one's also got stuff along the edge. I like coins that have things on the edge. Alright, we have a hundred rupee coin from Indonesia, 1994. 100 won from South Korea, 1999. And last but not least, a one peso from 1996 from the Philippines. Banco Central, Filipinas. Anyways, that's the coins that I got from the guy that I trained on Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed looking through these coins because I had never seen some of these designs before. Um, have a nice day. Happy hunting.